Let's take an example of trying to put a functional graph together that corresponds with the description that's given to us because many times the actual calculations that we'll do are simple once we understand the, the nature of putting uh, math to some of the words that were provided in a, in a problem. So in this very simple example, I want to I'll show you a bunch of graphs and I want to see which one of them most accurately represents the story that's described here. So the story consists of the following. You have a dog that's initially located four meters in front of you, which you're trying to encourage to come grab a treat from your hand. And after three seconds <clears throat> of you encouraging him, he move, starts to move closer at a speed of two meters per second. Then he sniffs the treat in your hand for two seconds, but he's unimpressed. He lumbers back toward his original perch at half his original speed, walking for a total of six seconds, and then he falls asleep. So the story consists of a dog standing, standing still, starting to walk toward you, standing still again, walking back but at a different speed than his initial, and then standing still again. So here are four possible graphs that could represent that story. Let's just look through these for just a moment. We start at the end with the answer D here. You can tell us that this answer is wrong because although it's correct that the dog is starting out at four meters in front of us and walks closer to us at a speed of two meters per second, notice that at time three seconds he starts moving and covers a span of four meters in two seconds. That's correct. It's supposed to be two meters per second. He stands still for two seconds, sniffing the treat in our hand. That's also correct. But then he's walking back toward his original perch at a speed of, again, two meters per second over a span of two seconds from seven seconds to nine seconds. He's back where he originally started. So that doesn't fit the description. Answer B here is closer in the sense that he starts at four meters, he walks toward us at a speed of two meters per second, stands still, and is indeed um, moving at a different speed when he leave, when he returns back toward his perch, but what seems to be different from what is described is he actually ends up back at his perch. And if you notice his speed here is four meters covered in a span of six seconds, so it's four thirds of meters per second, and that four six, excuse me, so that's two thirds of a meter per second. And that's not correct because it was supposed to be at half his original speed, which would be one meters per second. Answer C is not correct because this is a situation that describes a dog walking toward us, standing still, and then continuing on in the same direction, not back toward his original perch, which should be back in the positive, toward the direction of positive x, but it's continuing on the number line uh, in, the in the original way he was traveling. So actually, answer A is the correct one. It starts out at 4 meters, starts moving toward us at a speed of 2 meters per second, actually a negative 2 meters per second, stands still for 2 seconds, and then in a span of 6 seconds covers 6 meters, and that means a speed of 1 meter per second. So it's toward his original perch, but at half the speed, which is the correct thing, and over a time period of 6 seconds. So this graph best represents the position versus time for the story given. A related question would be if this was the graph for the position of the dog versus time in the previous example, then could we graph the velocity of this dog versus time? So we've already got here the graph of position versus time. It's measured in meters. The velocity would be in meters per second. And initially in this problem, the dog is stationary. So for the first three seconds, right up to here, the dog is stationary, so it doesn't move. Then it starts approaching us at a speed of minus two meters per second. 
I say minus 2 because it has to move from the positive x-axis toward 0, so it's making a negative uh, delta x in the x-direction. It does that for about 2 seconds, and then it goes back to being stationary again for 2 seconds. And then for 6 seconds, it travels at half that speed, and then comes to rest again. Half that speed mean 1 meter per second. So that would be the graph of speed versus time, or velocity versus time, for the, the dog, dog in the previous problem.